Hi, good afternoon, my dear students. How are you, my dear students? Hope everyone are safe and healthy. Welcome to today's session. Today, today's session is on differentiation this is the ninth chapter in our one week series it is very very important chapter and easiest chapter the weightage of this chapter is very short answers very short questions to one full marks question one essay question it may be changed in for this year only every year the weightage of this chapter is 15 marks 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 that is the weightage of this chapter. It is very, very important chapter and useful to in all subjects like physics, chemistry and engineering and other aeronautical engineering, etc. And also, it is very, very important topic in our mathematics also. What is meant by differentiation? What is mean meaning mean by differentiation? Let us discuss about differentiation. Let us discuss about differentiation. First of all, we know the definition of a slope. Let us take any two points. In a plane, there are a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2. We know the part of slope. Slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. What is the meaning of y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1? Change in y y. Change x. This is the definition of a slope. We know from geometry, already we know in 9th and 10th class also, the definition of a slope is if any, you can take any two points in your plane, a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y1. Slope is defined as y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Changing y2 minus y1 means difference between y quadrants. Changing y by changing x. Now let us take we can give geometrical interpretation of slope. Take x axis and y axis, they are perpendicular to each other. They are intersecting with the origin. Let us take any straight line. Y equal to M x plus C. You can take any two points in your plane. A x1 comma x comma y. Are x1 comma y. B x2 comma y. We know the geometrical interpretation. This is the distance between these two points is the x coordinate x one. The distance is called y coordinate that is y one. In the similar way, we can draw a perpendicular line from B to x axis. 
the distance from this point to this point is x2. This is y. If you draw a line, perpendicular line, this angle is theta r, you can extend it. This is also a theta. This value is y1. Automatically, this value is y1. What is the this guy, for example, if you say this is C, what is the distance of BC? Means from this one to this one, this is Y2. This one is Y1. The difference is Y2 minus Y1. From this one to this one, X2. This is X1. What is the difference between B? The distance between these two points C is x2 minus x1. If it is x2 minus x1, this is also a x2 minus x1. We know the meaning of slope. Slope is also denoted by tan theta. What is the meaning of tan theta? Tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. We know. What is the opposite side? By 2 minus 1. Adjacent side is Yes, this is BC, BC by AC. BC is opposite side. Opposite side is y2 minus y1. HSI side is x2 minus x1. This, this concept is applicable to differentiation. We can divide in another way also. One second, you see. Let us take any function y equal to f of x is any function. In this straight line, if we take a point a x comma y, y means y is here f of x. Therefore, we say this is the origin. The distance from this point to this point is x coordinate, thus is x. This one is y point, that is f of x. You can take any small increment in x, that is x, a small increment. A small increment, either it is positive way or negative way, whatever it may be. You can take a small increment in x. The coordinates of this point is x plus x. Here x, this is x. The total distance from RG to here explicit. The coordinates of this point is x coordinate is explicit. Here f of x is there. Here too, f of x is there. Therefore, the y coordinate is f of explicit. Now I am here once again. You see, you can take. A straight line y equal to f of x. The coordinates of a is x comma y. The value of y is a function. Function a function means f of x. You can write x comma y or x comma f of x. The distance from R to this foot of the perpendicular is x. The perpendicular distance is y. Y means here f of x. A small increment in x is x. Therefore, the distance from R to this point is here x is plus x. Total x plus x. The coordinates of the x coordinate of b is x plus x. Here f of x is there automatically. It is also changing. Uh, y coordinate also f of x plus x. Now, what is the slope? We know the definition of slope. Y2 minus Y1. Changing Y coordinates by changing X coordinates. What is the change? Here X2, Y2 means F of X plus X. Minus. Here Y coordinate is F of X. But X2 minus X1. Okay, X plus X minus X. You see? Y coordinates are f of x plus x, here f of x. Y2 minus y1, y, 
x2 minus x1. Now, both the x1 are cancelled. This is equal to f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This is the slope of this equation. But now, this slope formula converted into differentiation. If b approaching to a, what will be happening? What happened? If B approaches approaching to A, it means H tends to G. If B approaching to A means the value of X tends to G. Here, B approaching to Point B approaching to A, point A in limits concept, it is H tends to 0, H tends to 0. Now, now this is equal to by using of limits concept, limit H tends to 0 f of x plus x minus f of x by x. If b approaching to a means the value x tends to 0. If x is not equal to 0, but x is approximately equal to 0, that is the concept of limit. You may know the limit concept. Limit x tends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This is called limit x tends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x is called differential derivative of the f of x. If always y equal to function f of x is a straight line, no. Either it is a straight line or a curve, whatever it is. You can take any curve in a plane. Now, we can observe another. We can take a curve in a plane. You can take a point A, the coordinates of the name of this curve is y equal to f of x. y equal to f of x. The coordinates of a is x comma f of x. This is x, this is f of x. A small increment x is x. Now, the point b is in the same function. x plus x comma f of x. This is x plus x, this is the part x plus x. We can, if you draw a triangle, if B approach, what, what is the definition of slope? Y2 minus y1, f of x plus x minus f of x y x plus x minus x. x x get cancelled. f of x plus x minus f of x by x. If in the same class, here b approaching to a means b approaching to a means the value of x tends to be odd. And also the slope of b it is, it is called a tangent of B, tangent at B, the point B. This is tangent at A, the point at A. These, if B approaching to A means, this tangent coincide, coincide with A, this tangent. It means, by using our limits concept, it can be written as limit. Limit x tends to 0, 
f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This value is called dy by dx or f dash x. The value of dy by dx is equal to limit x plus to zero f of x plus x minus f of x by x by x by x. This is the derivative first principle. This is the theoretical part. Don't bother about the theoretical part. <coughs> it is limit x tends to zero f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This value is called. Derivative of f yep. at x. It is denoted by f dash x or dy by dx r by one r by dash and dy also. The derivative of this function limit x tends to zero. F of x plus x minus f of x by x is called derivative of f at point x. It is denoted by f dash x. R and also it is also defined defined by d by by dx, r by one, r by dash, r by one. What do you mean? It is called First principle of differentiation. This is the first principle of differentiation. Basic principle. It can be defined in another way also. Differentiation is the process of is the process of finding the derivative various functions. It is a process of finding the derivative of a function. What is the process? We know that in lower class we have four binary operations. They are plus, minus, into, divided. This is the binary operation. What do we mean by plus? Process of finding the sum of two numbers. This is process of difference of Process of finding the difference of two numbers. Here, multiplication means process of finding the product of two numbers. In a similar way, this is also process of finding the coefficient of two numbers. This is the process. How to find the sum of two numbers? We you know you can take any two numbers. If you put this number, this 
how to find 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 means 5. That is the process. In the similar way, differentiation is the process of finding the derivative of various functions. But let us take one function. y is equal to f of x. This is a function. y equal to f of x is a function. Here, x is called the value of y is always depending on the x. How, how it is? If you take a square, the side of the square is a or x. Area is denoted by y. You see? It is area. What is the formula of A? We know the formula. Area of the square is equal to side square. We know. If you put x is equal to 1, the value of y is 1. If you put x is equal to 2, the value of y is equal to 4. The value of here, what, what is our meaning here? The value of x, value of y is depending on x. Here, the value of y is depending on x. It means, that's why here x is called independent variable and y is called dependent variable. In any function, you can take any function in the form of y equal to f of x. Here x is called, the value of y is always depending on the value of x. That's why x is called independent variable, y is called dependent variable, that is the meaning of independent variable. If a small chain or small increment, here increment means either it is positive or negative, whatever it means, is delta x. A small increment is delta x in x. A small increment, a small chain x is delta x. It is denoted by delta. The value of y is depending on x means automatically the uh, change in occurring chain in y also. Increment in small increment or increment change in delta y in y. Here, increment in solvency is not positive, either positive or negative, whatever it may be. Now, you see, if the small change in x is delta x means automatically the value, y value is also change. Now, you can see. Here, delta x and delta y are very small changes in x and y. What is the meaning of delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. This y goes to that side, it will the minus side. Now, delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus y means here y is equal to delta y. Y is a continuous function. Here f of x is a continuous function on a domain r on r. It means delta y equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Dividing into delta x on both sides. What happened? Delta y by delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. If applied on both sides, if 
delta x tends to zero. What is the value of if delta x tends to zero means limit delta x tends to zero. Delta y by delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to zero. F of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. Once again, you see a small changes change or a small increment in x is delta x. Automatically, the change is change in y is also delta y. Y plus delta y equal to f of x plus delta x. This y goes to that side, it will become x. Delta y equal to f of x plus delta x minus y. Delta y equal to f of x plus delta x. The given function, what is the y is a continuous function, you know, y equal to f of x. Divided into delta x on both sides, you get delta y by delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. Applying limit if delta x tends to Zero limit delta x tends to zero, delta y by delta x is equal to on both the sides. You can apply the limit. limit delta x tends to zero, f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. This value is called it is denoted by dy by dx. It is equal to limit delta x tends to zero. F of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. This is called derivative of f. At x. dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0, f of x plus delta x minus f of x. This is this is the Possible principle of differentiation. First principle of differentiation. For our convenient, if this delta x replaces the delta x for our convenient, delta x is equal to x. Limit delta x means x tends to 0. Here we can replace the delta x is equal to x. It means have a convenient for you. Limit x tends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This is the, this is the value of the this limit value is called the value of f at x. This is also denoted by f dash x. f dash x or dy by dx. denoted by f dash x or dy by dx y1 y dash or dy derivative. The first derivative, this is called first derivative. The derivative formula, the first is dy by dx is equal to limit x tends to 0 f dash x r dy by dx is equal to limit x tends to 0, 
f of x plus h minus f of x by x. Here, dy by dx is a. Here, what is the meaning of dy by dx? dy by dx derivative of y with respect to x. With respect to x. Here, the y is a function. Differentiating on, on which, uh, differentiating with respect to x means here d by dx is an operator. Differential operator. D y by dx is d y by dx means. It is the derivative of f by with respect to x. What is the meaning of d by dx? d by dx is called differential operator. d by by dx means limit x tends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This is the first principle. Of differentiation or derivative. Now, now, dy by dx means derivative of y with respect to x. This is very very important. dy by dx. Here y is a function. That's why differentiating, differentiating with respect to x or derivative of y with respect to x. D by dx is called differential operator. What is the first principle of differentiation? Dy by dx is equal to limit x tends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x. This is the Derivative, derivative of now one second. Derivative. Why is it called f of x? is a continuous function on R on R the limit value limit x is 0 f of x plus x minus f of x by x is called is called derivative of f with respect to x f of x or f x whatever it may be and it is denoted by With respect to x, and it is denoted by f dash x r by dx r by r by dash x. Now, the, <coughs> once again, you see definition. Y equal to f of x is a continuous function on R. The limit value, limit extends to 0, f of x plus x minus f of x by x is called 
they give you a f with respect to x and it is denoted by f dash x dy by dx or y1 or y2. Now let us take one example. In physics, we know the formula of velocity v equal to ds by dt. We know the formula. What is the meaning of ds by dt? A serial distance with respect to time. Velocity is defined, differentiated and ds by dt. In the similar way, we know the acceleration. What is the meaning of acceleration? dv by dt. Velocity. The uh, differentiation of velocity with respect to time. The theme is time. But in our mathematics, y is equal to f of x. Here y is dependent variable, x is independent variable. That's why dy by dx, your variable is x. That's why y, your y is the function, x is the dy by dx. Complete the session, sir. Complete the session in two minutes, sir. Ice. Dy by dx means derivative of f with respect to x. This is the with respect to with respect to x. F of x plus x minus F of x by x. Tomorrow we will discuss about differentiation. We can solve some problems by using a first. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir. Thank you, sir.